Hello, my friends. This is the dried result of the video you're about to see. I th I've decided to start doing that because I think it's helpful to see the finished painting before you start so you can decide if you want to watch the video or not. So here it is, and now let's get to the video. Hello, my friends. I'm going to attempt a Dutch pour tonight. I don't do a lot of them. I'm not very good at it, probably because I don't do a lot of them, but um, I think they're beautiful. Um, a couple years ago, I did one that I embellished, and here's a picture of it. It, it sold, so I don't have it anymore, but um came out really pretty good, and everyone went a little gaga over it, so I'd like to make another one. So my hope tonight is to... Um, do something suitable for embellishing, kind of a skirt, very much like this, where I'll have kind of empty spot up here for the embellishment. So I'm going to be working upside down and blowing that away and uh, see what happens. I'm just hoping my colors are, um, there's enough contrast. I, I wanted to use the oranges and reds. And so we'll give it a go. I think I'll do just kind of a puddle or maybe an oblong thing. I don't remember what I did for that one. As I said, it was quite a while ago. I'll just kind of do a oval shape. I've got a deep magenta, a copper color, orange, and... Um, Brilliant magenta, I think it was. So, we'll see. And I don't want, um, I want a good amount of negative space as well, so. I don't want to put too much paint down there. Oh, where's my white? Here it is. Put a bit of this around. And get the hair dryer out. Here we go. On cool and High, I think. Well, I'll try low, but I, I, we'll start with low. It has to be high. might be sufficient. Um, let's see. That's a lot of negative space. But, gosh, that's pretty, if I may say so. Let me walk around to the other side here and size it up. No, I need a little more. I need it spread out a little bit more than that. Yeah. If I should add more paint, I don't think so. I think I'll, hmm, I don't mind if this comes up a little further here, and this could come over a bit, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to blow this, this away, just a bit, and this over here. On high. Ha <laughs> 
Oh, that's pretty. I don't think I want to do anything else to it. Um, I have to leave room for... I, I, I like to have the unobstructed. I like the negative space for the, the body. So, okay. Well, that was quick. <laughs> um, I have an idea to do a long canvas with three dancers. So, um, but I wanted to give this a try with a single again and see how it went. But I think I've come up with a good formula for getting the right consistency of the paint. It's quite thin. It's um, three, no, five parts Floetrol, three parts paint. And I used Artist Loft and two parts of water and had some body, but it was quite runny. Did the same thing for the base coat and the colors. And it moved around really well. So there we go. <laughs> um, watch for the embellishment. Maybe I'll do a video of it. We shall see. Okay. Thanks for joining me. Bye now.